A one-of-a-kind shopping event will be in Minneapolis tomorrow. Made in Minnesota, I love that name, is a celebration of Minnesota-based women-owned companies. Joining us now is Adrian Dirks, the executive director of Project Success, which is just such a cool organization, and it's Thank the you. charity that benefits from the goods being sold at the event. Yes, which we are thrilled for. This is our third year with Made in Minnesota, and we're, we're very excited. Well, I'm just going to do a little shopping while yes. you tell people <laughs> about what Project Success She's is. She's stealing. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's fine. It's for charity. And you're always. stealing from what? Charity. Tell us from about Project kids. Success. <laughs> yeah, tell us what the organization does. Um, so we are 21 years old, and our mission is not changed, and that's to inspire young people to dream about their future and help them take the steps to get there and gain the tools that they need to accomplish those goals and take them through the rest of and their lives. that's why being associated with some of the products it we're is. seeing here, it just makes perfect sense, right? These people, yes. each one of these companies, it's yes. a dreamer I'll who made something happen. Yeah, put the urban <laughs> junket bag down. Well, and that's what I thought was so cool when I, I came to you guys a few years yes. ago when you first partnered with this group. Yeah. And it's all kinds of different organizations that kids can, if they're interested in really anything, you have someone that you can partner them with. Yep, absolutely. Which is incredible. It is. And, you know, we were saying today, every child, and we've seen it over our 21 years, they want a bright future. Every child deserves a bright future. And we work with them to help them think about who they are, what they want for their life, what's out there in the world, and how to get there. And so we do that through our workshops, through the theater, through the college tours, the Boundary Waters. Made in so. Minnesota has been around for eight years now. Yes. But some people might not be familiar with it. The idea is to highlight uh, businesses owned by women. And yes. you see here on the table just a variety of different kind of businesses that women have started up here. It's a fantastic variety and like you I've done a lot of shopping over the years. <laughs> but it's great for gifts before the holidays There's but they've chocolate. got chocolates, uh, they've work. got jewelry, yeah. they've got <laughs> Alyssa, the urban junket bag. <laughs> he just stole it on television. <laughs> no, I bought I, this for you. Honey. More thievery but that's okay. <laughs> um, I think what's great too is that um, when I came to the event then you start seeing it around town and you see how successful yes. these women really are and how amazing these products are. It's true and then you start shopping shopping at all of those places and <laughs> yes, you're supporting you women-owned businesses yeah. in Minnesota. So it's a win-win. Yes, it's a win-win. Adrian, thanks for being here. Thank you. Made in Minnesota is tomorrow from 2 to 9. It's at the Lowe's Minneapolis Hotel on 1st Avenue North. So go after lunch, then stop by for happy hour, and then go for dinner, right? You can hit all three. Advanced tickets are $20 online, $30 at the door if you'd like to go. $5 from each ticket goes toward Project Success, which you just heard about. And we have more information at WCCO.com slash links. We appreciate it. At 2 to 9, that's a really great time frame. I think it, anybody can stop It's been kind of crowded in years past, so this spreads it out a bit. Yes, and lets less people fighting have a little, and pushing that's right. and shoving. Fighting? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what I mean? Drama. I, I do. I'm bag. in. <laughs> you want the balsam and cedar candle, Matt. I mean, sometimes you gotta you got to throw a little one of these to get it. Balsam and cedar sounds right up my alley. I know, or, I know how you love a candle. I, well, that purse that charges <laughs> yes, your does. phone? My, yeah, I do yes. love candles. Okay. What, you want cool? the purse, too? I actually do. I'll carry the purse if it'll charge uh, my phone. <laughs>